Hey, today I'm going to show you my storage unit. I'm going to I keep most of my larger stuff in here. I'm actually going to move most of my collection into here as well. I'm just running out of room in my house. So let me just show you what I got in here. I don't have that much stuff, but it's a lot of big stuff. So the first thing I got right here is an original Xbox kiosk. And this thing is huge. Um, the base alone is like solid steel, so it weighs a ton. But it is complete. has all the controllers. Um, uh, it doesn't have the Xbox in it. I took that out, um, but I can put it right back in. Has all the artwork for uh, Mega Assault and uh, Forza Motorsports, and uh, I have a few extras for like Rainbow Six Lockdown. Um, has all the little. Has still has the wings on them, so you can put different artwork in here. Same thing on the other side. It all lights up, light like, green, and then lights up this as well. And the bottom has LEDs. Um, it's a big, this thing a huge, has a huge, huge TV. Um, the TV alone weighs a ton as well, and it's, uh, and it's anchored. Um, has this, it's anchored down, so this thing is probably like a 20-something inch TV, but it's a big one. Um, so that's the original Xbox. This thing I'm really proud about. It's in great condition. Uh, right down here, I have a really rare um, tabletop Saturn kiosk. Um, you usually see the like the stand-ups, but you no, don't usually see tabletops. So it has a solid steel Sega logo with a light under it. Lights down, has this uh, TV. And it actually has the uh, Saturn here, lights up orange, and it the controllers. And it has the controllers right here, and it sits in these little holders. Then I have two of these. I have the original PS2 kiosks. Um, they're a little bit different. This one actually has a 15-inch TV. And this one has a 17-inch TV, so the, you can tell it's a little bit bigger. has a little light-up sign up top with the, um, I don't have the PS2 in here, I don't have the controllers in it either, but as you can tell, it's kind of like discolored. I'm going to get this reprinted. My friend owns a print shop, so I'm going to get that done. So this is all, all lights up blue, has blue neons in them. So that's pretty cool. This thing's all metal, so that's really cool. Same thing with this one. As you see, the PS2 would sit right here, the two controllers. I actually have a few odds and ends in here as well. I have this power supply too. I'm not really too sure what to, but this thing weighs a ton. It weighs probably like 40 pounds. So, but it's really old. It's all mounted to wood. I have a few more odds and ends as well. Uh, I, have, I think this might be a converter or something like that. I'm not sure. Don't know what it's to, but it's something old. Also, I have a few arcade boards in here. I'm not too sure. I haven't really looked at them, but I'm, they might think it's to the Play Choice 10. So I have a two of these, but I, I'm not too sure what they are, so they could be something else. Um, I just really haven't had time to look at it. But the real big prize in here is this, my Play Choice 10. But actually, this is actually a, a very old game. It's actually uh, Shigeru Miyamoto's first game. I'm just drawing a blank on what it's called, and I'm really kicking myself. I'm actually going to make a little annotation right over here of what it is. I'm just drawing a blank on it. It was Miyamoto's first game of before he made Mario and all that. Um, this game was a complete failure. They only made about 3,000 of them. And then it was later converted on to um, Donkey Kongs and then this one was actually converted three times. So it was the original game, then Donkey Kong, and then to um, uh, Play Choice 10. So this only has about like five games in it at the moment. And the way you can tell it's the original is, well, it I actually says on the serial number on the back, but it has the red, um, oh, Radar Scope, that's what it is. It, the original game was called Radar Scope, and then this one got converted to Donkey Kong and then to a Play Choice 10. The way you can tell it's in a Radar Scope is in the red box. Very hard to find. There's only about, I've had, at, well, still existing, probably around like a couple thousand, if that. So this is one of them. It's still in really good condition. And the serial number on this is actually one of the last units ever made, so... I'm really proud of this unit. I need, it's a fixer-upper, but I'm really proud of it. And then I have a few PC games and a PS2 in there as well. But this is going to get filled up over time. And, um, yeah, this is my storage unit stuff. All right, thanks for watching.